brief. I started karate when I was 11. Uh, my dad made me stop when I moved in with my mom. When I was 13, I did judo. I did that through junior high and high school. In college, I did taekwondo because I couldn't do judo. Uh, then um, I did just a little bit of capoeira before I moved to Japan. In Japan, I did karate, aikido, sumo, uh, a little bit of ninjutsu. Back and I did uh, Taekwondo with my college club again, and I started doing Bagua here. Originally, I did it for self defense because I was a scrawny little kid and I was a nerd and I knew I was going to get picked on. I thought oh, maybe I should try to learn some self defense, and that's when I took the karate class. My dad made me stop because he thought I was only going to use it to beat up my brother. Not my fault I needed self defense against him, but um, I found that I just loved it. It was just like perfect for me. and. I no longer even believe in self-defense. Um, the best self-defense is just acting sensible. I don't get into fights. Um, but it, I just feel in sync with martial arts. I feel so comfortable with it and want to do it all the time. Um, Chinese martial arts uh, are very varied. So you know, some people expect them to have more of a theme than they really do. Uh, whereas karate is very similar. And there's different kinds of karate. There's different kinds of Taekwondo. But they're not as varied as Chinese martial arts um, because it's not as general an expression as Chinese martial arts is. Um, I like Bagua uh, a little bit. I like the exotic movements that I don't understand. The hand waving that looks just exotic hand waving, but when you see the application, the application is very cool and seems to be very sensible. I think that it probably is very practical in a fight and that's cool, but uh, for me I don't care if it's, it is or not. I just enjoy doing it. Uh, something to focus on um, feels good and, uh, for instance primarily what drew me to Bagua John was it was a martial art that was developed to fight not just multiple attackers but multiple simultaneous attackers it's not like you got this one guy and you're fighting him and his buddies are there rooting them on and if you knock him down or take care of him, somebody else steps in. No, this is a situation where you're fighting this guy and all of his buddies jump in at the same time. So you gotta fight this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, all at the same time. So you want to be able to move from one guy to the next and be able to take care of them while protecting yourself, right? So the idea behind uh, I've been studying martial arts about uh, 27 years, and uh, I started Xing Yi Quan um, back in China a long time ago. And then primarily I studied uh, with Grandmaster Jiang Hao Quan, and I've been studying with him for about 20 years. And then I go to China two times a year to study with many uh, Master Jiang's classmates or friends. Um, different styles, different style Kung Fu. So I have been competing, uh, just, I started recently, uh, started last year, year 2007, uh, in, started March 18th to now I have won about 187 gold medals, um, maybe about nine grand champions so far. Normally, uh, when I compete, I compete in Tai Chi, uh, Kung Fu, uh, sparring, and uh, weapon sparring. Normally, uh, the tournament is about three days, so each day you do certain, certain things. And then uh, the final uh, Grand Champion competition is always on Sunday afternoon, the last event. Thing. Uh, for me, it's more like the arsenal of fighting. Fighting techniques are mostly drawn from the forms, but uh, they, are, they are different. I think uh, you are very good in forms, doesn't mean you can fight very well. You can fight very well, doesn't mean you can do form very well. <laughs> they are not, let's describe sort of like uh, figure skating and hockey. They are both ice sports, but you are good in figure skating or hockey. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know, you pick one. Just practice forms and, and never fight. 
then you won't be able to tie, the, tie it together. But a good master can teach you how to apply. And your, your forms are kind of like a cyclopedia or a dictionary of all your techniques, your fighting techniques. But it takes you know, a lot of time, so you have to work on basics, how to throw a good punch. If I can hit somebody with a good punch, a good front kick, a side kick, and then you can start working more of the advanced techniques. But you have to learn how to work the system. Otherwise, it becomes uh, like ballet, maybe just a dance. So your fighting helps out your farms because it helps you put the spirit into the farms and your farms should give, feed you more uh, techniques for your fighting.